Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, you get to see the last two weeks of the renovation. The salon in Horsham is almost done and it's really, really sad because I don't get to be there the last two weeks, but that's okay. Jason's got it all under control and like he's just been so amazing through this whole project. Like definitely couldn't have happened without him. Let's jump to some footage from the last two weeks in Horsham. Uh, PM tonight, Victoria will enter a seven-day circuit breaker lockdown um, and these restrictions will be in place until 11.59 on Thursday the 3rd of June. They've just announced the lockdown and like I was kind of hoping it would just be Melbourne so then things in Horsham could still go ahead and everything like that but turns out it is all of Victoria so we had to cancel clients for the rest of the day because I had to get back to Horsham Shannon had to get back to Horsham we could not be stuck in Melbourne for the next seven days oh my god just when I thought nothing else could fit in my head. The universe just keeps testing me, you know. So the Horsham Salon opening will be delayed. It's all pretty emotional, I guess. Like it's been a big, big, like massive eight weeks and then all ready to go full steam ahead and hit the ground running next week. And then just like it was an arm's distance reach. And then just for this, this hurdle <laughs> but it's only a hurdle we can jump it and we'll get through it and it will be okay it's just uh, just disappointing and sad and you know you can see all the cars driving past everyone getting out of Melbourne I just pulled over just to um, have a minute <laughs> just because I needed just, just needed to like just have a little bit yeah I haven't seen the salon for two weeks and I've had to leave Melbourne just to get out which I guess the only positive of that is I get to see the salon sooner than Saturday an interesting few weeks and like fingers crossed I am praying 
that this lockdown is only seven days because I cannot mentally do any longer than that after last year. <laughs> Especially when in 10 weeks we will have a baby. So, sorry this vlog was a bit of a downer, but you know, that's what's going on in the world right now. aren't always butterflies and rainbows <laughs> challenges do come and this is definitely a challenge and definitely something that I did want to capture for the memories and you know like it is something that we've gone through on our journey and it's a hurdle and it's real you know we made some pretty big moves um, so yeah de de definitely wanted to capture and document this so one day we can look back at it and just be like wow all the stuff that we've done so I'll check back into you when I get back to Horsham it's going to be a long drive um, but I'll listen to my Ed Sheeran and I think I'll do Ed Sheeran the whole way today <laughs> in everything organized the hot water was going in um, and then all the final stuff was happening this weekend and then yeah lockdown happened so our opening date has been extended to Friday if we get let out on Friday we just don't really know what's gonna happen and so I'm just gonna like fluff around in here. A couple of clients ordered some products online so I'll get them together to send. Like I said yesterday in the car, it's thrown a curveball <laughs> in our works. But I feel like we are so good at when things like this happen, we just like assess and then we, we just pivot and change and then full steam ahead in that direction. So we're not annoyed that we can't open early. We see it as a positive, like we have that little bit more time to get a few of the final things done. So we kind of like see it as a bit of a positive in that way. The only negative is clients um, because we are a client based business, especially in Melbourne when we're, we're already so booked out like we are just backed up with clients now and you know we we really like it's hard to fit everyone in when this happens so we will organize everyone this week and like go from there and just hopefully we open up on friday so then we don't get even more backed up with clients because that would just be like 10 times harder. We are thinking of the future and thinking of how things will work if Melbourne does stay in longer lockdown and we get laid out in regional Victoria. We just don't know, but you kind of have to plan for everything because you just never know what the government's gonna do. I'm actually going to end this vlog here because we're in lockdown. There's nothing really more you can see. The salon's not gonna be set up until next week, so. We'll do the final reveal once the salon is all set up. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow our journey of how we end up getting this salon. Will we get it open in time? I hope you're enjoying our little like YouTube renovation updates. It has been a little bit slower. Well, actually, no, it hasn't been slower. <laughs> We've done this in eight weeks. Like, what the hell? eight weeks and the guys have done this and so i'm just so grateful for all the trades for really taking on the challenge and working their hardest to get this done and especially like so grateful for jason for managing the project he really took it in his stride to get this place done for me <laughs> for us and 
you know, getting it all ready so we can be in here for like a nice amount of time before the baby comes and um, he's been super supportive with all my crazy dreams and everything like that. So just so grateful for everyone who's helped us get to this point and we're so excited for the salon to be open. We're so excited to be parents and I'm so excited to share our journey with you guys and hopefully we can inspire you in some way or another if you're a business owner, if you're a mom, if you're a hairdresser, all of the above. Hope I can inspire you to just keep going, keep moving forward, keep pushing for your goals. I just really want to show all it takes is passion, determination and drive and you can do anything. Somebody told me that when I was like an apprentice. I've just really taken that in my stride. So if you've got passion for whatever you're doing, if you've got determination and all you need is a bit of drive and you can succeed in anything. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.